This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Hey, my lovelies. How y'all doing? It's Pedro back here with Berry Q Nails. I hope this video is reaching you well with good health, good positivity, good everything. Today I'm using the 123 Go Bubblegum Gel from Enel Couture and using their coffin tips, the Honey Peach Coffin Coffin Deeps on my nails. I want to firstly apologize, firstly, because I know this video is gonna be a little out of frame. My bad, y'all. Perdóname, I'm so sorry. I promise I get better. I promise, te lo prometo. So I'm here just setting up my little station, got my pretty nice little scissors my cleanup tool a little dampen dish with some alcohol and a little wood tool <clears throat> excuse me so now uh my nails are all prepped pretty much so what we are going to do is get right into pretty much getting into the application kiss kiss so we're going to be using the model ones and um dehydrator yeah, I'm, I'm this will dehydrate your nail bed and just dry it up just dry it up all crusty <laughs> not crusty i'm being so extra but you know it's gonna remove all the oils and unnecessary um properties or things on the nail bed that may affect the adhesion of the products we will be using there go affecting the duration keys keys of how long the nails will last so i'm just going on i love putting on the dehydrator it feels so refreshing and cool cool How y'all doing? I hope y'all all doing beautiful. I hope y'all are all doing fabulous. I'm sending all of y'all love, light, and positivity to all. <laughs> Here I am just, you know, I'm just shaking it, just trying to dry it off real quick. Then applying another layer. I like to de dehydrate the heck out of my nails, child. Just dry them up. I, I don't want to risk it. I don't want nothing. But yeah, how y'all doing? It's March. Can y'all believe it? I can't believe January, February are already done. Oh my gosh, we are almost in, almost done with the first quarter of 2024. And next month is my birthday. It's April 23rd. El 23 de abril. Le 23 de abril. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm planning, but I know I'm be doing my nails. I'm excited because today we are going to be doing a full set with cat eye polish. I am so excited, y'all. I want y'all to see my little creation of what I can do with the magnets. I actually am pending an order. I'm waiting on an order to arrive. I ordered some uh, new magnet bars that they released from Daily Charm. So I will be reviewing those. So wait on that video, check those out. Cause I wanna see what else I can do. So here I am, I'm dumping out all my tips. You know, I pretty much know my sizes. Y'all know the drill. Uh, you know, y'all been, you know, whoever been doing this a little bit, you know, for the most part, you know, I know it differs with brands, but for the most part, when you've been working with it for a bit, make sure it just fits sidewall to sidewall. 
and if they are too small make sure you size up if you find yourself in the middle of a size always go higher and just customize that tip darling customize it sweetie just take a file best with a hand file i find and just you know just buff the bottom and file the bottom of the cuticle area of the tip to make it fit you darling you don't find that tip make that tip fit for you sweetheart so here i am just checking you know left right does it feel good does it feel right honey does it feel good it does you don't want to put too much pressure on the nail and you definitely don't want it to just sit on top just floating you know you just want to make sure it's a nice snug fit So yeah, I'll just leave y'all here for a moment while I pick out my tips. All right, dolls, here we go. I got all my tips set up, laid out. Voila, thumbs up, yes. So I put all that stuff back, because you know me, cleanliness is close to godliness. I put everything back where I need to go. Jacksimus. I don't need you barking in the middle of my video. Oh, child. So. Anyway, I got my e-file and I got my five-in-one sanding bit from Pana or Pana. I got it on Amazon. I'm gonna link it below. So what I'm gonna do is I just take it and I take it on a low speed and I just buff the inside of the tip where I know it will be adhering to my nail bed. This will assist the glue or whatever you're going to be using to adhere better so it has something to hold on to you know it's like you know you want something thick you want you want something to grab on to as my baby say about me <laughs> uh, yeah. you see i'm just going in and up and down Sometimes it go, it go a little crazy, and, you know. And after each one, I just dust it out a little bit. And just let that go on there. Dehydrator primer here. Uh, 
black base coat there. You want to try this stuff? The bubble gum gel? In their defense, that was a sticker. They had the skin. These things don't get back on. It doesn't? Oh, okay. I mean, there's the other almond ones. The ones that. Remember I told you that they were like the ones I think by email that were like a little longer of the other ones I think you used. So we got them all done. I had a little accident. I was trying to blow away some dust child and it just blew them all over the place. So I'm that's me just trying to make, you know, get them situated, checking the numbers, make sure <laughs> that I got them in the right order. Because after all that work, I don't want to make sure that I stick the wrong nail on the wrong finger. So there you go. So we are nice and clean and done. So we did the dehydrator, done. We are gonna take our Young Nails Protein Bond, which is also a primer, acts as a double-sided tape, if you will, to help both sides adhere very well. I've used a few brands of primers, um, non-acid primers, and so far, Pro, uh, Young Nails Protein Bond has assisted me with longer duration of my wear. <laughs> and my nails go through stuff, child, because, I mean, you can see, you see the lengths. I mean, they're pretty long. They're not active lengths. I mean, I got these two pit bulls I got to deal with right now. I'm doing laundry. Um, I'm mowed along. Because winter is done and spring is in and uh, I don't know about y'all, like, but I hate mowing the lawn. <laughs> when we first bought this house, I was like, okay, I'm going to get a lawn service. And, you know, they're going to come out here every two weeks, mow the lawn, make sure it look all cute. But them bills sure were not cute, darling. They were not. So I had to stop that. And then I was bouncing back trying to get deals whenever I felt tired. For what? Um, but then I ended up having so to just cancel it all and start doing it myself. I invested in a nice well, battery operated. I think it's a Riot OB. Oh, okay. Battery operated lawnmower. And I just do it myself. It's a little difficult, but you know, it is what it is. 
sometimes I, I used to be able to do both the front and the back lawn but of my house but now I just do one at a time because this uh, inflammatory disease and in, uh, mixed connective tissue disease that I have I don't know I just have a lot of muscle pains so especially after a lot of walking and lately I've been having a lot of pain on my left foot but you know it is what it is probably getting older I guess so you see I'm applying my protein bond I usually do two coats just to make sure that it is real good you know I want to make an extra protein bond <laughs> I don't even make no sense. But, you know. It is what it is. But, but, but what I, basically what I was trying to say. That protein bond works great. And if it can put up with what I put my nails through. It's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing my little fan. Alright, so cool. So, we're pretty much all dry. So, I, again, I do want to excuse everybody. I do apologize for being out of frame for this part specifically of the video. Um, I need to get better at this. Making sure, you know, of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but look, I'm using the beautiful pink 123 Go Bubblegum Gel. Got my flash goose neck lamp here and I got that ready let me put the top on just to make sure I got that on and ready for me for when I need it okay mm -hmm. yeah see I should not have moved this that low that low 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 them bag of sweat pants and the Reeboks with the strap. Alright, so I'm just gonna lift this up and I think I'm just gonna do the same method that I did last time. The little scoop method. Um, and just see what we can work with. Cause I don't know, I was watching his videos and he was like just super, you know, manipulating it with his hands. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> but and just you know molding it and stuff so i was like all right so cool i'm gonna be able to do that too child i don't know how cold of a room he in but i tapped it maybe two three times <laughs> and that stuff was like liquid but you know i'm just gonna try to attach i had to wipe off my finger a little few times by the end of this it's gonna be a lot i bet so I just go in at a 45 degree angle towards the cuticle, not all the way, leaving a very small gap. Look at that. Bam. So you see how that pink um, bubblegum gel just kind of sees through? So I'm just cleaning up around the edges, but I was kind of liking that look. Um, and I was thinking because I did use his nails previously. And I have used other, you know, Gelex dupe manufacturers, and they have been pretty strong. But, you know, the longer nails obviously are going to have a little more bend to them. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do a little some extra. So here you see, I just do a little flash cure, and I'm a little extra shaky. I'm sorry. I don't know what is going on with me, but. I'm just a little shaky in this video. Oh, the anxiety today. I don't know what's going on. It's just through the roof. See, this is the problem with me. I hate that I cannot see what I am doing right now. But you get the gist right now. I'm just, you know, I scooped it. I'm patting it with my, my finger. Patting it with my finger. And then applying it onto my nail and just... Scraping around the edge. And then putting anything I'm extra that I'm scraping off back in that little tub. Just how it goes. 
Put the stuff is cheap, but it ain't cheap, cheap. It wasn't free. Actually, even if it was free, I was a child, I would, be, I would still scrape that stuff back into that pot. All right, so you see, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the sides, and I'm kind of like, hmm. I think if I can manipulate this bubble gum gel further up the nail, and kind of basically like fill in a little bit the underneath of the nail, that it would add strength to the nail, and I won't feel like, you know, when I'm doing certain things, I won't feel like, ooh. My, my, that might pop that might break you know because like i said you know i'm a dude who wears long nails <laughs> so you know hey i still gotta do stuff you know i'm not saying that you know everybody gotta do stuff it's not just you know me but i definitely am not a stay at home just chill have people do things for me type of gale <laughs> so i'm definitely up in there washing them dishes doing that laundry cleaning the house with my baby so you see I, i'm dragging it up the uh the bubblegum gel and just trying to like scoop a little bit more trying to fill in that underneath I'm, I wasn't necessarily trying to fill up to make it like flat underneath the nail. I just wanted to add enough where it would be just kind of like an additional layer, let's say that was just like smoothed out. I went a little much with my pinky. See, so you're gonna see like it ends up like the pinky ends up just getting filled up. Like I just fill up the whole damn pinky. So you can see, but turned it over and I'm curing that just a flash cure and I did that with these and I think I'm gonna continue and do that with all of them because like I even just now I already feel that they're stronger than if I had just put the bubblegum gel on my nail bed and left the rest you know to fly free in the wind, to fly like the colors of the wind, like Pocahontas. Child, I hope you can not hear that. That's Penny over here just licking Jackson's mouth. These dogs, I don't understand them. No entiendo, Marta. No sé qué está pasando. I don't know. This dog be trip. You see how shaky I am? My goodness. And I swear I didn't have any kind of caffeine or nothing. Believe me, I, you know what? Now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm halfway glad that y'all can't see <laughs> what's going on off the camera because that bottom half of that paper towel, it has so many like smudge marks of me trying to just get the stuff off of my finger from trying to pat it in place because I, I guess, you know, with the, I guess the room was warm because it's warming up again back out here in Florida. So we back out in the, you know, the high 70s and 80s. So it gets pretty warm now. So everything is pretty much melted at this point. So here I am attaching it to the middle. And don't play y'all, this bubble gum just still burns. <laughs> I still, you know, I filed away. I still left a thin layer of, you know, product from last time, but oof, it sure do burn. <laughs> Bless you, baby. Bless you, Penny. Oh, my baby. I'm sure y'all seen the video. If y'all haven't, it's in. it should be under my shorts under my YouTube channel. Um, you can check out my baby's Jackson Penny. 
you know, just playing in the backyard. Those are our babies. So you see me just flash curing. All right, so we got them three done. I'm sorry, yo, let me tell y'all, I could wear this just like this because the color, the payoff that you get from those tips and then that color of the pink underneath is gorgeous. And I'm actually excited because I got, don't tell nobody. I got another scoop on the way and I actually ordered a couple extra things. I can tell y'all about those. Um, I got another bubble gum gel, but I ordered it in cool pink this time. You know, just to get a little bit of a lighter color underneath for different things if I wanna wear them, you know, more clear or more transparent. Um, and then I got a foil blue from him because of all the boxes that I got, and not one glue for the nail for them foils for all them 39,000 boxes of foils like if y'all gonna include all them foils y'all should include a foil glue or a foil whatever it is because i've never worked with foils before but i assume i think i've seen it like you need some sort of an adhesive like you can't just use a base coat or whatever but you know So you see, just here doing the same thing, curing on the top and on the bottom, flash only. This really does not need long like this stuff. You put it under that lamp and them particles, them chemical particles in there just go <laughs> just and they start hardening right away. Like you see how quick I'm under that lamp and them nail tips ain't going nowhere. But of course, once I'm done, I still do that full, for me, 120 seconds. I do the full two minutes, darling, to make sure. Because ain't nobody want no uncured gel, nothing popping off, and none of that. So, honey, I go in for the full, what? No, 30, 60, 90, no, no, darling, 120. 120, 120, dos minuto. So I do that to make sure optimal adherence, optimal whatever it happens while it's under the lamp. <laughs> so y'all can just continue and watching and I'll be back. Alright, so y'all see I got that thumb on. I got all of them done. So let me just move this pot over to the side and we are gonna put it in the lamp. What did I say? Two minutes, darling. 120 seconds. Yes, 120 seconds. Okay, I had to take it out for something, but 120 seconds. Now I'm back. So see, we good. They on. They ain't going nowhere. They feel good. I love it. I said I like it like that. Yeah, baby. I like it like that. I like it like that. 
See, I like the the OGs, but the new one, you know, from Cardi is my jam too. So I'm just going back with the dehydrator because it's been a minute. You know, usually you should put on the dehydrator. You know, some people actually put the dehydrator and do it one finger at a time or one hand at a time, which is what I should have done because when you wait so long, you know, you might touch something, especially with all that gel I was touching and I was, you know, picking up things and wiping. So oils and other debris could have gotten on my nail beds. So I need to definitely cleanse those. So here, taking my cute little bottle of the Young Nails Protein Bond again. And we're just gonna go over all the nails. A nice even yeah, coat. Again, remember this is like double sided <laughs> sticky tape. So you might hear it as a protein bond, you might hear it as a primer. For the most part, primer is what you're using. Every company might call it something different. However, the purpose is mainly the same. Um, but from my experience, definitely not every company is the same <laughs> so get out there try your products and see what works best for you you know my hubby and i have been doing this a little over a year and we've gone through quite a few you know mainly amazon companies but um you know now i'm actually trying to branch out and support smaller creators and you know that's why I'm now featuring, you know, the 123 Go system from Enel Couture and other things that are coming up in the future. So I'm really excited. So you see, I'm just drying them. I applied my two coats. So me and I, we did the whole thing. So here we got the gel again. And basically, we're just gonna go through the same process that we went through on the right hand. You know, we got all our tips, and we're gonna apply that Ena Couture One Two Three Go Bubble Gum Gel in pink to each of the tips, and apply them at a forty-five degree angle to our nails. Press it down gently. Any spillage, try to clean that up with that wooden stick just to avoid having to file it off later because i mean it's not the end of the world if you know you leave some but it's best not to get any of the products on your skin you do not want any gel allergies any of that now max estrada's products who is from or the owner of one two three goes nail system and e-nail couture his products are made in America and gluten free and vegan. So I don't know if that makes it better that, you know, and that's why he can touch it and stuff. But, you know, hey, so far, you know, pretty much I've been manhandling this gel and stuff ever since I started using it. And luckily, I've been good. I haven't felt anything or experienced any allergies, which is great. So we're just gonna go through the same process and fill up the entire tip because I like the strength that I got on the right hand. And we're just gonna keep going. So I'll be back and enjoy whatever you can see in the video. <laughs>
Tired. Yeah, right. Ain't that some shit? I work at this place called Walmart. Fucking suck. I work at the dead Walmart. We're shopping in the other world. Did you hear that? No, we were in the same room. You were. Is there any spirits that are bad here? Negative. The reason we respond to the same thing.
sees the damn. I told y'all about that bottom half of that napkin. You see all that wiping I did? That was all me wiping it off with my finger, all the extra from me trying to get it flat and flushed underneath the nails. Cause I wanted it to not be flat, flat. Like I wanted it to be like a dip. <laughs> like I kind of wanted it to follow a C curve, but anyway, here they are all flash cured and on. Let me turn off this lamp. My goose, my goose neck. Let me take this crazy old paper towel away. Flash cured. We are fully cured. Sorry. 120 seconds, doll. Full 120. And you know, they on. They on. They feel good. You know, the underneath could be smoother. You know, it could have been better. But look, these are me. These are for me. I do my nail. So I'm fine with it. It's cool. And they're strong. So I'm happy. So I'm going to grab my dust collector. And I'm taking the 5 in 1 bit from Panal. Panal. And we're going to go at a good speed. And we're just going to go around the cuticle area basically to file down that ledge you know the natural ledge that is there because there is a certain amount of thickness at the cuticle end of those tips so to make it look more flush into the cuticle area to make it look like you growing these very cute nails you want to just go around the cuticle areas and you know just give it a little fair Let's see, just give it a little, just give it a little, 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 left hand all right so we're all done we're done sealing the cuticle as they say but it's really not, you know you're not really sealing sealing it's really just making sure that your nail is looking flushed so that there's no lifting there's nothing happening back there so i'm just taking my 80 80 grit nail file that really rough one the lower the number the rougher so the higher the number, the smoother. So, you know, if you see a 240 nail file, that would be more for buffing the nail. So I'm just going around, perfecting the shape a little bit, going around the edges, you know, a little bit of that uh, bubblegum gel might have seeped out on some of the areas. So I'm just making sure that nothing is hanging out of the nail. You know, I want to make sure it's a nice flat finish underneath look, look, look. look at that nail i like that shape she cute i'm gonna do the same thing all right we flip now <laughs> all right so now i'm here just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna get my alcohol and my brush. And clean up all that dust. I go up, kind of to push the cuticle back, and then I brush down to brush off any of that excess dust. And now I'm just gonna go through all 10 fingers and um, do a quick buff to just roughen up the surface of the nail tips to assist the gel polish that I'm about to add. Um, help it adhere and help it long, help it, help it long last and stick to the nail. So we're gonna go ahead, buff that one and all the other ones. All right, so we are all buffed, it's all. So taking the alcohol, gonna do it, you know, put some on the brush and just do the same thing I did before. 
brush up towards the cuticle. I'm brushing down to get off the dust. I'm also brushing underneath because I did get some dust from the e-file on the underneath of the nails on that little tacky layer. So, ooh, okay, we flip back, okay. So today we're using the Law Knight number three gel polish cat eye. Look at this color, y'all. Mira que lindo. Smurf tea. Yes, doll. She's lovely. She's sparkly. She's darling. I'm going to use my JXH black, which is a very thick black gel polish. I need to buy a new one. This thing is almost empty, child. And I'm also going to be using the McCart Gel Polish in Shadow. But look, this is the cute, oh my god, the holographic rainbow in that is so nice. Hold on, what's it called? That McCart Gel Polish Cat Eye is called Shadow Walker. Okay, very cute. I'm using my Miss City base coat and super top coat. I got these off of Timu. The colors I got off Amazon. I'll put the links below. So you see I got my little wand up there. So first, I'm going to go in, put us a nice little base coat get us a nice smooth surface to work on and fill in any, you know, grooves or fill in any of those scratches created for, from the buffing. And this will help your polish adhere to your nail. Again, I'm very sorry about being off camera. I'm not Spike Lee. I'm not James Cameron. I'm not Michael Bay. I am Betty Q now. Betty Q now is learning. <laughs> I promise, 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 promise. Next video, I will be in frame and will do everything in frame. <laughs> it's a learning curve, you know, but I, I promise. So while I'm base coding, do y'all watch other non-nail YouTube content. Like, um, I work from home. I'm a pharmacy tech. Uh, so uh, when I'm working I, in the background, I have YouTube on. And it's usually YouTube podcasts. So lately, I've been listening to um, Watcher. Watcher is the YouTube channel. Um, it's run by Ryan and Shane. And I don't know if you've ever watched BuzzFeed, those BuzzFeed videos from back in the day. Well, they used to do, a, you know, ghost files and ghost adventures. No, not ghost adventures, ghost files. And then crime, true crime things, unsolved. Well, they have their own thing now. Uh, and it's amazing. Their podcast is great. Um, and they have one that is related to theme parks which is awesome to listen to. They just discussed Epic Universe that's opening here in Orlando in 2025, I believe it is, which is super exciting. So that's Universal Studios' new theme park that is gonna be completely different from Universal Studios Orlando and Islands of Adventure. So it's very exciting. And everybody here that loves theme parks is on their toes, doll. They're on their toes like they're they on point as a ballet dancer. I've also been getting into the Osborne's podcast, <laughs> which might sound strange, but honestly, I could listen to Ozzy Osborne mumble all day. <laughs> um, with that, you know, I like to listen to uh, true crime documentaries things of that nature, uh, forgotten places, uh, things like that, you know? I don't know, my, like my music tastes, 
my my YouTube viewing tastes are very eclectic and all over the place. Oh my Zave, my cat is rubbing up against my leg. Get away from me. You don't get hair on my nails, child. You don't get hair on my nails. Back up. Child, you don't get hair on my nails. I know. I know. I'll cut I'll cut it with you later, baby. I will cut it with you later, I promise. I promise, 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 promise you. Oh, Lord, now they all want to come over here. No, back up, child. I love this polish bottle. I love this in the city because they're, I love this really long stiletto type bottle. It's so cool. So um, I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. 60 seconds. All right, so we're done. Base coated. All right. See, look. Now, I love cat eye polishes. I love chameleon polishes. Any of those that get enhanced by using black. And I love me some black on my nails. I think black nails look so fierce on me and on anybody, personally. You know, other people might not think so, but I definitely believe black nails look off the hook. So, I just gotta hold my breath and just, whoop. You know, try to apply, you know, this is a thick polish and it's also black. Usually with dark polishes, you wanna um, try and stay thin because the darker the polish, especially black, but it's harder for the UV lights and the LED lights to penetrate. So it's definitely gonna take a little longer if you make it a thicker coat. So try to make it as thin as you can. If you have to do two coats, three on like rare case. But, you know, definitely try to keep it as thin as possible to avoid any bubbling up, any uh, polish not curing. You know, you don't wanna have any air pockets from any bubbles. You don't wanna flood your cuticle, especially. Ugh, with a dark color, OMG. With black or like a red, if those flood the cuticle, OMG. It's gonna look like a murder scene or you were just digging through the dirt. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my little, um, my little art brush and I'm just gonna go around the edges and just clean up whatever I can that's not on the nail. So I'm gonna pull, again, I'm so sorry that I'm not on the actual screen. <laughs> Cause I don't know why, like I said, remember I was really I was really shaky and I don't know, my vision was a little buried today. So I don't know what the case was, but I just really had to keep bringing everything up to like my face <laughs> to see it. Cause like, you know, hey, we getting old. Like, I'm wearing bifocals now, child, and the bifocals don't even work right. So, I don't know. But we do what we gotta do, and I promise. I promise, te lo prometo, and I promise you, I will be more in the frame in the next videos. <laughs> oh, man. I love putting on polish, especially like a dark color when you're putting it on over something light. Like, I don't know, it's just cool. Like, I love seeing it. I know you're not seeing it, but I'm seeing it. And it's cool. <laughs> I am a mess. I cannot believe that I did this. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> so y'all can just watch here. I mean, you know, I'm just going through and I'm gonna go ahead and paint these nails. So y'all can see what I do because I'm gonna be applying this black base onto all my nails. 
so the cat eye polish can be like bam you know i want it to be like emerald lagasse back in the 90s like the bam or like what's what the name is i know the name is the Whis whisper song i forgot the name but they go bam 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 I know they're referring to something else, but hey. <laughs> but this is family friendly. Family friendly, darling. We family friendly here. So I'll just here enjoy this while I apply the black polish off screen. I don't know why I keep fucking picking these damn designs that require me to paint my shit black. When this is the one color that's like, come on now. Mm. You can't get none on your skin. Okay, mis amores, my loves. You're finally gonna see them. Oh my God. Yes. After nine and a half hours, y'all finally see the four fingers that I painted. <laughs> but I, anyway, I love putting on these polishes. It, you know, this one especially, it is. it has a very strange thick consistency like it's almost like gummy so it's kind of like um kind of like when you're applying a builder in a bottle where when you place it initially on your nail it kind of creates like a little slip where you kind of have to like push back towards your cuticle and then you can run it back towards your free edge it's that kind of thicker consistency so i really like this one but like i said thin coats Thin coats make the dream. Whoa. Too messy in there. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm just here trying to make up something. I'm just here trying to inspire the children, darling. Inspire them. Inspire the lovely people out there. Me here while I push back my fake bangs. Or my non-existent bangs. 
because if y'all haven't seen in the video before, I have no hair, honey. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna go ahead, we're gonna clean up with our alcohol and our brush around the cuticle areas, anywhere that I can visibly see at this moment where I got gel polish, anywhere else on my hand, because it always, always, always happens. When I'm done with the set, I, you know, I'm checking my hand and I find the spot that I missed and I'm like, yeah, come on, man. Anyway. So, we got this all done. Just doing a little touch up. Okay, so there you go, look at that. So in the, in the light. So we were in there, full two minutes. I don't play when it comes to these dark polishes. I want my base to stick. I want it to stick, doll. So we're using the Law Night number three gel polish beautiful shimmery blue cat eye gel so for this we're using the gooseneck lamp because these magnet pieces that are inside the gel polish whenever you maneuver them into whatever design you want you should flash cure the nail for at least five to ten seconds just to lock that design in place Look at that color, ugh, gorgeous. It's so pretty. So you want that flashlight, um, the flash cure gooseneck lamp to just flash cure the design in place. Just that, and then you can move on to the next finger because I have experienced it where, you know, you do your design, by the time you get to, you know, the last finger, the design doesn't look as great as it did on the pinky, you know? So, I am going ahead and making sure that we have full coverage doll. Making sure that we cover that entire nail, darling. Because even though I'm going to be doing a certain look on these nails, I still want full coverage, honey. Look at that color. Whoo! All right, I'm gonna take my little magnet. So I'm gonna use this long side. I'm gonna go along the long the sides of the nail. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring the particles and it's gonna magnetize them and kind of like push them up. You see that? It pushes them towards the center to make it more vivid and bright. You see that? Mm. Now I'm going to take the circle part of my little wand magnet and I'm just going to push push come on now push I don't know if y'all remember Gina from Martin Tashina Arnold that was one of her songs back in the 90s she sang it on Martin so I was just, look at look at that meet her meet her meet her meet her meet her kick you so I did a Frenchy, sort of, like, you know, there's still a little of the color in the back, but you know, I'm trying to do a Frenchy with these. What y'all think? Mira que cute. I love cat eye gels. Um, but yeah, she got that song. Push, come on now, push. Let's go now, push. You got to push it till you get it right. Oh, that's the jam. Hi, Penny. Hi, my Penny, baby. Hi, hey, Mommy. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you are. You're such a good girl. You're such a big girl, too. You think you weigh two pounds. All right. Back up, mama. Mwah. I know, daddy's making a video. I'll play with you in a little bit. Oh, you good girl. Mm -hmm. All right, so back to what we doing here. So we're working on my ring finger now. So, same process. 
apply a beautiful coat take the rectangle side up run it along both sides of your nail which will basically push those magnet pieces to the middle of the nail and then slide that magnet just push those particles I don't know why I feel so singing song you today. I think it's because it's Friday, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just pushing and flash curing. You push and then you flash cure. Ah, mira, mira, mira. I love it. Mira, get cute. I hate when you put your fingers this way. Sometimes your nails look all crooked when you put them all separated like that. But look, I went ahead and did them all. Now we're popping it in the lamp for the full 120. Ah, look at it. Mira, que nice. All right, babies. We gonna start on the left hand now. I kind of don't want to finish and do a whole, you know, do the whole thing on the right because I feel like today I'm gonna be adding some bling. All right, dolls, so we about finished up with our base coat. I love clicking my nail. I love it. So, base coat is done. Mira que cute. In the lamp, 120. No, I'm sorry, 60 seconds. And we going back with our JXH001 Black. Off Amazon, great deal, fantastic product, great coverage. But again, be careful because this is a thicker gel polish than I've ever experienced. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but when I pick it out the bottle, it kind of has like a little string to it, like it stretches. But look at that coverage. Ooh, it looks so shiny and beautiful. Like a like a grand piano key. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling. But um, yeah, just make sure anytime, not even just because this polish of its consistency, but any dark polishes, make sure you apply thin layers, build up the color if you need to. Better be safe than sorry, because you can not, you know, it's better to be safe than to be sorry and have to wipe off uncured gel and then take off anything that did cure. I've been there, not fun. <laughs> not fun mentally or time-wise or physically. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just keep applying this black polish, this gorgeous black polish to all the nails to act as our base so we can get that beautiful, beautiful color payoff Cause hold up y'all, y'all think y'all, y'all think you know, but you don't even know, all right? All right? You think you know, but you don't know. Wait till you see that McCart shadow, child, what the heck, what's the name? That McCart shadow walker. Wait till y'all see that doll. So, all right, so we're gonna do everything. I'll be back, and all right, so we go ahead. We did all of our black, go in the lamp, full 120. That black polish, wanna make sure any dark polishes, you wanna make sure it cures. So we're using that gel polish from a cart. Shadow Walker. Oh my God, this polish, wait till y'all see. Mira, mira, mira. 
Oh! Ah! This is sparkling! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whew. All right. Let me collect myself. Let me collect myself. I'm all right. I promise. I'm all right. It's just so pretty, y'all. It's just so nice. Gotta paint that on nice. Get that color all across. Cover, especially especially when you're using these type of situations and you have that black under to under base. You want to make sure you get that polish and cover all of it up because it will show. You know, it will look a little weird. Oh, show it. Show it to me, please. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Look how nice that is. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm gonna do the pop. Okay, so this polish, I discussed it with my hubby. He even said this polish was a little stubborn when it came to the magnet. So all pol all cat eye polishes are not made equal. <laughs> Some are a little more difficult to work than others. But what I'm doing is the same kind of concept. I'm trying to push up the polish from the sides, the particles, to push them and, you know, get them in the middle, concentrate them. Look at that. It just, you, you get that rainbow hollow effect. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take that round side of the magnet and we're gonna push. Come on now, push. All right. We pushing, y'all. We pushing. You see how it moves? Oh, look at that. I'm gonna flash it. I'm gonna flash it. I'm gonna flash it. I'm flash cure. Flash cure. Look at me shaking. I'm so excited. I'm like, yes. And now we're gonna go ahead. Uh, I love brushing this polish on. It has such a beautiful consistency. It does not run on you. It is very easy to control. You know, this helps to prevent flooding of the cuticle, prevent building up, you know, too much gel in certain areas, which will result in under curing. You don't want that. It sucks. Like I've had it a couple times where like a couple days after I've done my nails, like, you know, sometimes you just, you know, feeling with like, let's say you're, rub you're touching your um, thumbnail with your index finger. And one day I'm rubbing on it and I'm like, is that a bubble? And I, for sure, I had a bubble, an air bubble under that nail. And it was because of some uncured polish. So you gotta learn from your mistakes. So here we are, we are bringing out that shimmer pulling it up from well basically we're trying to repel it from where the magnet is which in turn concentrates it at the middle of the nail and honey this polish oh look and now wait 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 give it a second give it a second give it a second You see me, I'm just like, cure, 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 stick, hold. Look at that. Look at me with a little 3D cat eye Frenchie. Like I was somebody. So anyway, I'm gonna keep doing the same process. Kiss, kiss. I'll be back. I never understood that. 
All right, babies, we are here at the end. What about pork and oh, dill? Oh, look at that thumb. Push that polish up and flash pure, baby. Yes. Honey, let me tell you, I close my bottles right away. Go in that lamp, two minutes. Deux minutes. Deux minutes. Dos minutos. Now look, doll. Look. Oh my God. I love. Look at the look. Look at the rainbow effect. Yo, I know that it's called Shadow Walker, but honey. And then this one. Oh my God. I love this blue. I love this. So hold on. Give me a second. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do? Que vamos a hacer? Oh snap! Doubling, doubling came out, honey. Doubling. So, dale, dale, dale. Okay, so I'm taking my um my little wax tool, my wax picker. I'm using the McCart rhinestone glue, which is fabulous. Wonderful adhesion easy to apply especially with this tube with the tiny see the tiny applicator tip it's so easy to just apply it directly onto your nail like squeeze out a little bit is how I do it and then use the applicator tip and just spread it flat as you can where you're gonna be applying it so you don't have any excess excess spillage or you know lumps or anything coming out of the side of your crystals We're just spreading it, spread it. Fuck you. So I think I'm going to do that. my ring finger and my index. So I'm doing this one first because I want to work on one at a time because I'm not fast like that. And this glue is good. But if you, you know, if you work too slow, the stones start sliding a little bit. So that's why I'm working on one finger at a time. So, got my nice wax picture tool. I'm gonna do silver stones, because I felt it goes well on this hand with the blue. Gonna just make a show, make a show she's censored. Oh, see, I actually did do it both. I'm doing both fingers at once, so. But, you know, when I get to the end before I cure, I do have to readjust them and stuff because they do slide a little bit. So I'm just doing a large stone in the middle. Then I'm doing the next size down on each side. And then the next size down after that on the outside of that. So I'm making a little crystal cuticle cuff. And it's so very cute. It make you feel very cute, very nice, very rich, very fancy. It make you feel like diamond in the sky, like Rihanna, or like Sia, I should say, since she wrote the song. But Rihanna did make it famous, so props. I love me some Sia. I love me some Rihanna too. I was just watching because you know the Super Bowl was a few weeks ago. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I know I, it was a concert. It was the Usher concert. So I watched the Usher concert that happened a couple weekends ago. I'm sorry to all those that follow <laughs> football, but I don't. But um, then I started watching all the Super Bowl shows from the last few years, and ooh, that Rihanna show did put on a show. And then J Lo and Shakira, they, ooh. They knew what they was doing. Those shows were fire. So you saw me just do, I just popped it into the, the um, my little flash cure lamp. My ring finger. Just to lock those stones in place. And now I'm working on the tiny, tiny stones on my index finger.
I love these stones. They are so pretty. I'm flash curing under there just so that glue can set and everything can be in place. And then look at that. Damn. Dale. Dale, don't dale. Just a little extra for fun. Into the lamp. 60 seconds. See? I, look at the spots of the polish I got on my finger. I told you I was, look at you would think I would see that. But look, it was right there. But look how that came out, Zol. All right, honeys. Now we're going to do the left side. We're going to do the left side. We're having coffee talk. Like on SNL back in the day. We got the McCart rhinestone glue, honey. Honey, we got that rhinestone glue. Rhinestone glue. Attach the bling. Attach the bling. I love the bling stage. I don't go that wild when it comes to bling. But oh, you know what? You know something? You know something? You know something? I need to try more bling. <laughs> I need to try more bling. So, on the left hand, I'm using not the clear silver stones that were on the right hand. I'm gonna be using different ones. So I'm gonna be using these different beautiful holographic type. So depending on how the light hits it, it you know, you see some pinks, some green, some blue, red, it's beautiful. And I thought that would go very well with the shimmer of the colors that hit the magnet um, particles in that silver part so you know when not the when the light hits it you know you get those beautiful rainbow colors so i thought that would go beautiful with those stones and i wanted it to just be a little different than uh, my right hand so let me just close up those stones child because i am clumsy and i will knock every single one of them stones and they will land in every single room in this house and then the dogs will eat them. And then the cats will eat them. And then I'll be picking up rhinestone poop for the next few days. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. So yes, yeah, so we're doing the same type of situation. We took that rhinestone glue. We used the actual applicator tip, put it directly on the nail, spread it around. We're taking a, the largest of that color stone putting that right in the middle and making sure it's centered taking the next size down putting one of those on each side and then another size down put that on each side so each nail has a total of five stones oh yeah look at that flash cure mira look how cute i love it it looks so shiny I love it, love it, love it. So we're just gonna keep doing that and we're gonna repeat the same process on our index finger. So we can get that looking all blingified and very cute. So we can have what? Very cute nails. Ooh, them tiny ones are hard to get. We got that. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. In the lamp. Six to seconds. All right. We out, y'all. Look at the light hitting those stones and connect it in, in, in addition to the polish. Yeah, no pen. They, they cute, right? Right, Penny? They so pretty. 
They so pretty, Penny. All right. So now we're gonna seal her all in. We got our super top coat from Miss Eddie. And I got these off of Timu. I highly love this polish. It is chip resistant. It is, the shine lasts quite a very long time. Like, I've had sets that I've worn for maybe up to three weeks and the shine looked just as good as I just got them. So we're just gonna top coat the nails and I add a little extra towards the cuticle area on the fingers where I put the stones because I want the gel top coat to kind of get in between those nooks and crannies and just fill up that area for additional kiss kiss for cuticle. So your stones don't fall off. It's like putting a, what you call it? It's like putting a low jack for crystals on your finger. <laughs> or the club. So the top coat is like the club. Like you used to put on the cars back in the day. Do they still make the club? You remember the club? It was like that big, um, it was like a red thing that it would lock and you would put it over your steering wheel but then people learned that you can just cut the steering wheel and take that so i guess that club closed but yeah i love how y'all just decided to walk around so so much right now while i'm doing my video it's so appreciative it's a, yeah, appreciative it's appreciated Dang it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna do top coat on all the fingers, clean up any excess. This top coat is a little liquidy. It's a little thin. She ain't a thick top coat. So sometimes she likes to run into the cuticles a little bit. So, you know, I prefer a thicker top coat, but so far I haven't found one that gives me everything that this one gives me <laughs> for the price and for the cute cute bottle y'all come on now if y'all can recommend me in the comments a top coat you know what and a base coat because i would like to use both together if y'all can run recommend me one that has a cute bottle like this and it's not really wide at the bottom because I still need these to fit on my shelf. Let me know. But the the shine payout, the chip resistance, the hardness of the gel on the nail once it cures. And for the price, I mean, I think this bottle is like three bucks or two bucks. Fabulous. <laughs> you can't beat it. So, hey. I will continue using my pointy little stiletto pint, uh, shiny bottles until I can find something else. You can see the shadow of my fingers. I got all my fingers splayed out, child. Try to apply this polish all carefully. All right. Clean up a little. Clean up a little of the top coat out of the cuticles and anything that flooded along the sides or ran down too much. And we definitely capped off the tip and the edges with the top coat.
happened. All right, so we just about finishing up finally with this hand. Took me long enough, about nine and a half hours. I've only been here 10 and a half hours. So look at that, all top coated, made like a shiny, look how shiny. Lamp, two minutes. Eh. All right, I don't want to admire too much yet because I still need to do the other hand. So again, my Miss City Super Top Coat using that on the left hand now. And I'm going to be capping in the stones again, just pushing a little extra towards that side just so they can get a little additional security and not fall off. You know, it's just double security. That McCart rhinestone glue is fabulous, but this is just an extra security for me. babies we are done with that left hand so we're just finishing up with that shiny top coat super top coat yas yas lamp de minute oh i'm so excited i can't even help myself hurry darling hurry i want to see i want to see darling And dun dun dun. 
They are so beautiful to me. I'm a mess. I'm sorry, y'all. But look. Uh, look at the cat eye effect. Look at the... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to flick y'all off. So I decided I'd get my bed. So uh, look at that. I love this color combination. I love the McCart one on my left hand. I love the right one. Gorgeous. So you know how it is, Dual. Cute curl. Cuticle oil is very important. So got remember I got this cuticle oil at the beauty at the um, nail supply store. A few drops on your cuticles at the end of your manicure to help finish it off and give it that mwah, ooh la la, you finished doll experience. And I'm just rubbing it in to make it all nice and gorgeous. Doing the same on my right hand. So not just the day of your cuti your um, manicure. Make sure you do this at least once a day. You know, try to do it maybe before bed or do it, you know, sometime when you're not gonna be using your hands for a long time just cause you know, your hands get a little oily. But um, at least once a day to keep your cuticle area nourished, to keep it looking flawless, no peeling, to reduce the amount of dryness. I'm just, look at that, just rubbing it in. Rub all that good oil in my hands to keep everything looking fabulous. I don't care, call me greasy. Better than ashy and crusty. So look at that, ooh. Oh, you can't tell me nothing. You can't, you bunch of mother, can't tell me nothing. I love how these came out, y'all. I'm not gonna flick y'all off this time. <laughs> Here's the full set. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I love y'all so much. Thank you, love y'all. Please subscribe, like the video, comment. Let's start a chit chat back and forth. I loved communicating with y'all. So far, the people that I've met have been fabulous. Take care, y'all. Sending love, light, and happiness to all y'all. Peace.